you're not afraid of like ask the no questions. It's ask gonna, the questions ask the questions right. let the things unravel that need to unravel and sometimes I mean I have people tell me like what if I become an atheist and I was like so what become an atheist if you need to if Jesus is real he'll find you again yeah and it's like that's I mean to me it's like it's okay like if you have to let all of that go because your understanding of who God is is so um you know just distorted and you still want to find Jesus and you're still curious about it like you'll find him again he's he's real enough and he's if big he's enough real, to handle your questions yeah you said that if he's real and he wants to be found he will be yeah, he will be. Yeah. What's the worst thing that can happen? Right. Exactly. And for some and people, that's a, that's a crazy, scary question. But I love how mm-hmm. you aren't afraid. You're not afraid of the word deconstruction. <laughs> You'd probably tell people, don't worry if Sally says, I'm deconstructing. Oh, yeah. Like, I wrote a whole blog post to people who, like, basically to parents who are like, it's basically this idea of, like, what when someone you love deconstructs their faith. Because people get so worried about that. And I think so much of the Christian community has misunderstood what deconstruction is. Yeah. And then you've got other people saying, well, if you deconstruct, that means you're going to deconvert and you're going to go, you know, pass it. No, like you're just taking it apart. Yeah. Like take it apart and then put it back together again. You know, leave out all the stuff that's extra and put those pieces back together and figure out what it is that I actually believe. And I think the thing that really has encouraged me over the last few years is I've deconstructed and reconstructed yet again, um, probably four times now. Um, it's just, (laughs) yeah, you know, not, not a big deal. Um, but the thing that's encouraged me is the things that I'm standing on right now, I now have this huge body of believers that I agree with. And so you're not in this narrow place where you're like, well, we're right. And everybody else is wrong. But like the things I'm holding on to, I now have brothers and sisters across every denomination, across all the countries, across the continents, across, you know, and so it's like, we are connected because we believe in Jesus. And you're like, it's just, it's those few things that we really need to hold on to and everything else can just, you know, who cares if we end up with something that we don't agree on? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah de- deconstruction. I'm not afraid of deconstruction. I welcome deconstruction. Like, I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's something God's doing. And I think that he's on the other side of it as we reconstruct as well. Like, I am not afraid of this at all. I think it's a wonderful